Hello, my name is Moose A. Moose, and today I'm going to a trash can. Why am I going to a trash can? I hear none of you ask. Well, to answer your question thoroughly, I lost all my money while gambling on candy canes because I have a candy cane fetish, and as a result of that, me and the Nickelodeon bunch are homeless. A trash can would be a suitable home for us, so I am going to see if anyone who lives in a trash can will be willing to have us be roommates and maybe good men, if we are lucky. Hello, my name is Oscar the Grouch, and I am a really, really gay grouch who lives in a trash can and often has gay sex with other grouches, but one person who I really, 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 really love to have gay sex with is my good man Slimy, who despite all of your beliefs that he is a worm, is actually a living penis, and I love it whenever I use him as a dildo, he makes a cum-cum with his mouth, and he turns me on with his high pitched voice of his, and the reason we like to have sex together is because we are smelly, stinky, trash-loving zoophiliacs who like to fuck each other in the ass and take. Hello, Oscar the Grouch! Hey! Do you mind? I was in the middle of doing a blood-style Barney Lunch video. I'm Moose A. Moose, and I was wondering if you had room in your trash can for four more people. Fuck no! I'm not letting four people live with me and slam me in my trash can. There's not enough space for all of you. Son of a bitch! However, I can recommend a better option than just this ordinary trash can here. Oh? The trash can we really want is a dumpster. It's got wide spaces, homeless people call it their home, you can get more food, and best of all, they're absolutely free. So get them fast before anyone else can steal it. Thank you so much, Oscar. You're welcome. We will go look for a dumpster right now. Phew. Glad he is gone. Another reason why I didn't want them living in my trash can is because they are the Nickelodeon bunch, and I have heard many unswell things about them. I ought to report them to Drew Pickles. Here's a nice dumpster from Fat Hippo. It looks big enough. It's time to live in the dumpster. What the hell, man? You stole our home. This one looks pretty twisted, but I can make it work for us. Time to live in the dumpster. Oh, come on. That's like the second home you stole today. Here is another one. Fucker deal. This one is recyclables only. I don't want to live off paper, plastic, and tin for the rest of my life. This one looks comfortable. Meow. This one has a bunch of pussies. Well then, I think this is it. I'm sure going to miss living in my pineapple home and using it as a dildo. I know, it's a sad story that we ended up like this. I might as well live in a box. And I was already homeless to begin with since I moved out of my cootie infested house. We do not have any homes, and I fear that we may end up living in a pie. That's impossible. Nobody can live in a pie. Well, if Chester A. Mom can live in a pie, then we most certainly will. Look over there. Over where? Over there. I see a dumpster. Finally. Let's grab it before anyone else can steal it from us. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. We found ourselves a brand new home. I think it looks kinda cramped. I don't think there's room for four of us, but I have a solution. SpongeBob, you can live in this can of tuna. No, anything but that. And Stinkin, you can live in this jar of mayonnaise. No, as for you, big mate with a big cock, you can live with me in this dumpster. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
We'll blow a hand, we'll be down. <laughs>